inside the main loop we will start by adding the header file you add the adc.h and also we will add the uart okay we will add these two header files then we will initialize so we start with initializing the gpi opens then we can initialize usart usr2 init after initializing usr2 we can also initialize the adc adc init adc conversion all right so when we come here we can call the adc sample signal and this signal will take a pointer so let us define a buffer of 64 and let's also just declare adc value we will use this value to observe the life expression when we are debugging so we pass a pointer to the buffer and also the program state Okay, then when we come here, we can just set ADC value. We can just set it to the first ADC value in the buffer. All right, let's just run this program and see what we will get. So click run. Okay, now I've connected the MCU. So let's click on debug okay we have a life expression so in the life expression um, type this the adc value there type this adc value so that we can observe it once it change so now we are expecting the adc value to change when we change the program state to blue let's go ahead and press this so the initial state of our program is off okay now when we press the button it means we are sampling the adc signals and we transmit to uart so this is a live feedback if we open the terminal we can observe the uart being transmitted to the terminal once we press the button our state goes back to off and you can see the adc stops reading value so it means that it is not sampling any value now let's press the button again we press the button and the blue led is on and you can see the adc keeps on sampling signals this will be the last session of the project and i realized that the program was running if we click run it will compile with no errors and you can deploy the program onto the mcu but i noticed that the the uart wasn't working so and i mean this part after we set the program state and also display the state with the leds the program is supposed to sample the acd and transmit them via uart but whenever i checked the uart i wasn't getting the necessary response I went into the program and I saw in the GPIO. Um, let's go to the GPIO source file here. So I noticed that although we set the alternate function in the GPIO AFR register, we also need to set the pin mode. We didn't set the pin mode. So let's pick our reference manual and go find the GPIO registers. We need to set the mode and when i say the mode i mean the mode for the uart ts and urrs we need to set the mode to alternate function gpio registers okay we need this now you can see alternate function mode because we are using gpio2 for uart tx according to our program so we are using pin 2 port a as uart tx pin and pin 3 port a as uart rx which means that we need to set them to this right let's start with the first one gpio a2 so that is mode 2 and we will set the bits to 0 and 1 let's set them to alternate function so mode 2 the bits are 4 and 5 we set 4 to 0 and 5 to 1 4 then we set 5 to 1 all right as alternate function then let us set the pin 3 port a as alternate function pin 3 corresponds to mode 3 that is bit 6 and bit 7 so we do the same you can just copy them paste 
bit six and seven so we change this to six and this to seven let's align them properly so at this point you have this a link to the project file is in the description you can get all the code okay let's go back to the main file and let's compile it the program compiled successfully no errors now i've connected the mcu right here so i will go ahead and click the debug now we click on live expression i've already input this adc value i want to observe how the adc sampling will change adc value will just get the first number of the buffer so anytime the program sample the 64 adc values this adc value will correspond to the value of the first value in the buffer so go ahead and click this one resume and immediately we click resume you know according to our program the red led is on i hope you guys can see this but you know the red LED is on. If we press the button, the red LED is supposed to change to the blue LED and the program is supposed to sample 64 ADC signals and transmit them to UART. Let's press this. Okay. And it has changed to blue. And as you can see from this side, the ADC values is constantly changing. So now what we want to do is open your terminal and I'll use the screen command to open the UART of my device. This is the name of my device and I'll put in the board rate. Okay. Yes. And this is exactly what we are expecting. As long as the state of the program is on, this will sample 64 and it will send it via UART according to when we go to the ADC. Yeah, so this is what we are doing right here. We sample and we transmit as long as this if statement remains true. Okay, so the terminal keeps on reading the characters. But if we press this and change the program state, it turns to red and the, it stops sampling. So now nothing is being sampled, right? Um, once we click again, a sample 64, send it via UART hopefully this project gives you an introduction to writing bare metal program on the stm 32